everyone and today we're going to be talking about binomials theorem. Now in this lesson we'll be talking about the powers of a plus b. So a plus b to the power of n. Any number we put as n we'll be able to solve using something that's known as Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle is able to help us find a plus b to the power of n very easily. So now if we take a look at this example further we can see that in Pascal's triangle, two numbers add up to make the bottom one. 1 plus 2 makes 3. 3 and 1 makes 4. 3 and 3 makes 6. 6 and 4 makes 10. 6 and 4 here makes 10. So all the numbers add up from the two numbers add up at the top, making up the bottom number. For example, let's take 10 and 5, which makes 15 and so on. Now in Pascal's triangle, we use these numbers from the specific row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on to solve for this equation. Let's say you're given a question which states find a plus b to the power of 3. What we could do is rewrite this as a plus b into a plus b into a plus b. Because a plus b to the power of 3 is simply a plus b multiplying by itself 3 times. Let's say 2 cubed. 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2. So that's the basic concept. In case you're wondering what this dot is, this dot means multiplication. Now a plus b to a plus b to a plus b. Solve this and get the final answer using binomials theorem. Now we go search for the third one here. This is now if we go here. This is the third one inside of the binomial uh, Pascal's triangle. So let's say this row, 1, 3, 3, 1. This length here, this, this area, we can just mark it as a horizontal line. So this area is the third one we have for the third power. So we take each of these numbers one by one as the coefficient, which later multiplies. For example, in this case, we can use it to solve for 1, 3, 3, 1. How does this work? Well, first of all, a plus b into a plus b into a plus b. Our first step is writing a cubed plus whatever goes on. Our target is that if we have a and b, the power of a reduces one by one each time we add, and the power of b increases by one each time. So currently it's a cubed. Next, one a cubed because we have the coefficient. One a cubed is a cubed. Next, we have three. So you write 3 multiplied by, if you don't write anything and just continue with 3a, it means 3 multiplied by a. Okay. So in this case, we'll do 3a squared b. Why did I write it like this? Well, as I explained before, we add the coefficient each time, every time we're adding, and we reduce the square of a and increase, and increase it for b. Right now, we have nothing for b. So we wrote b here as we added a power. Next we'll say 3 because 3 is the next coefficient again. 3a1 or 3a b2. Why b2? Because we are increasing the power. 2 minus 1 is 1 or nothing for powers in terms of power. a times, uh, well, the same thing. Similarly because b, we could just say b to the power of 1, which becomes b to the power of 2. Last coefficient is 1. And this time a will disappear because another power is reduced, but b gets the upper hand. We write b cubed or 1b cubed. So the answer to a plus b to the power of 3 is this using the binomial theorem. All of this is equal to a plus b into a plus b into a plus 3b. So this is what you get. Just remember, add the power for a and reduce the power for b. Let's try a bit more complicated example using the same thing. You might want to take down notes for this one, where we add the coefficients from Pascal's triangle. And then using that, we are able to solve for the square of any number based upon the column. Now, let's try one more example. This will be a bit complicated. a plus b to the power of 6. Now, this is going to... This is going to take things a bit challenging because now we'll have a longer equation 
a plus b into 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 a plus b. How do we solve this? Remember, take the coefficients. In this case, 6 is this horizontal line, this long one. So, important thing to notice is the first coefficient, 1. So, we can just write 1a one to one a to the power of 6 or a to the power of 6 plus, what's the next one? 6. 6a six to the power of 5 and b. Why? Because now we have a b, one extra square, and the square of a reduces. Plus the next one, 15. 15 a 4 b 2. The value for the power of b increases and for a it decreases. From 6 it goes to 5 to 4 e sham v m. So 15, next we have 20. So 20 a 3 b b 3. What's the next one? You give this one a try. What comes after this one in the, as the coefficient? If it is 15, that's correct because 15 is after the 20. 15, A, 2, B, 4. Power increases again. Finally, 6 and 1. So 6, A, B, 5. And the most important one is the 1 here, coefficient. So 1, B, 6 or B to the power of 6. So A plus B multiplied by itself six times gives us this answer using the binomials theorem. Looks extremely long and extremely complicated. But if you remember the key aspect, which is using the Pascal's triangle horizontal area based upon the power that's added or the amount of power, we just increase A by, uh, decrease A by one in terms of power and increase B by one in terms of power again. So as you can see, the pattern goes 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1, and then that goes away. Similarly for B, it's currently nothing than 1, B, when we just write B, it means B to the power of 1. So B, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So using this binomial theorem, we can get all of this answer. Now that we know an important thing, we need to understand that we can't use Pascal's triangle for extremely large binomial theorems, such as a plus b to the power of 20. I mean, it is possible, but it will take extreme amount of time because the triangle goes super large. This is for till 6. Imagine how long it goes for 20. And then solving it is not the hard part. It's using the Pascal's triangle for such a long thing to the power of 20. We will be discussing more about binomials theorem in future lessons. For now, important things you need to know is using Pascal's triangle as coefficients, increasing the power, decreasing the power of A, and increasing the power of B. So that's it for today, and I hope you guys understand how we can solve binomials theorems, for example, by the square of A plus B, or powers of A plus B. This was our lesson powers of A plus B using Pascal's triangle. Thank you.